guys it's your girl butterfly Lisa. welcome back to the channel butterfly healing if this is your first time come on in because you're gonna love it here um excuse me if you are a returning viewer and you've already subscribed and all of that good stuff thank you so much and thank you for coming back thank you for clicking the video and viewing it let me go ahead and tell you right now if you're watching right now and you just have a heart of gold comment a butterfly below <laughs> just so i know that y'all tuned in and really you know um really like paying attention and viewing the video like it's, the butterfly will signify i'm ready to listen and i'm here to actually engage with the video and hear what you got to say butterfly listen you can like the video also and you can subscribe as well that's all up to you okay thank you so much in advance if you do all right so it's morning time right now where i'm at so good morning and i just want to go ahead and tell you guys what we're going to be talking about today i it has been on me pretty heavy to discuss the importance of confining yourself to the present okay now what the hell is she talking about <laughs> so confining means to box yourself into something to limit yourself to this so we're gonna i want you guys to box yourself into the present moment confine yourself to the present moment um limit yourself to only thinking about and feeling for the present moment okay so why is this important how can it benefit you to only really focus on the present we're going to talk about it as much. I'm going to try my best to keep it as together as I can for y'all because there's a lot. I feel like there's a lot that I can say about it. But over this weekend, I've gone um, over the last few months. Let me start there. I haven't gone out a lot. Like, you know, obviously we're under the pandemic and that means staying in the house a good bit. But over the weekend, I went um, two places. I went to the zoo and I went to the aquarium. Don't judge me, okay? My nephew's birthday is tomorrow. So we were just trying to show him a good time. We were all safe and everyone's perfectly fine. But um, I went and guys, I've been to the aquarium before and I've been to the zoo before. Both of these I've been several times. To these specific ones too i've been there several times and i was i had such a good time over this weekend versus like and i yes i was comparing them to the other times where i went i had such a good time and i was like what's different this time than last time and then i was like, okay well let's try to remember the other times that i went and then i couldn't even remember like like you know, big moments, you know, I could say, oh, I went this time and this happened. I went that time and that happened. I could not do that really. I could just remember, oh yeah, we went. Okay. There were a couple of moments, but still, regardless, I enjoyed this weekend way more than any other time. And I think mostly that's because I haven't gone anywhere, but also it's because I was way more present when we were there. There's a couple of things that you're probably going to have to do in order to even learn how to confine yourself to the present moment. First, you got to heal. Okay, you got to heal some trauma. And I'm saying that because trauma is connected to the past. Trauma is... It's the past clinging on to us. Okay, so that kind of gets me into like triggers okay you know when you let's say you're dating right now um and you're meeting new people and you're like okay well this time i don't want it to be nothing like the last time now when you say that i think that's probably how most people think about dating and go about dating but if you think about it like that and you say you know i don't want it to be like how it's how it's been in the past if you say that it's easy to nitpick every little thing about this newness you know this new experience or this new date or this new person that you're meeting right now it's easy to nitpick every little thing because you're connecting that to the past those are called triggers so let's say um i think of a good scenario let's say you like okay in the past you had somebody cheat on you 
and you're like, okay, well, I don't want to be with nobody that's a cheater no more. So you meet somebody and they are super nice, super charming to just about everybody they meet. And so you're like, why are you being so nice to every motherfucking body? What's up with you? <laughs> This is an opportunity right here for you to cut it off and be more present because you have to give people the benefit of the doubt. You cannot project what the past was like for you onto this new person. You can't say, well, my ex was real flirty and that was all in these bitches faces, these niggas faces, whoever. I'm not going to gender it, okay? Um, that was in all of these people faces and in the past, and they ended up cheating on me, breaking my heart, do 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 So with this new person, with this new person, I'm, I'm out of the frame, with this new person, um, I can't tolerate none of that, none of that being nice to everybody, shit like that shit, no, no, I don't trust you. Honey, wait a minute, because this person could very well be your next thing, your next big boo, your next big thing, right? But because you're projecting from what happened to you in the past, you can't even see that they are just a good-hearted person. They are charming like that because they got a good heart. They're an empath, whatever, whatever, you know. We got to let go of what used to happen to us, okay? In order to say, all right, well, today, right now, today, this person is nice. They're cute. I'm not going to do them like that, okay? They could be the greatest, you know. Forget what that person did. That's how you confine yourself to the present moment. And of course, that was just a, a, a scenario um, related to dating or whatever. But, you know, that could go into with jobs, living somewhere, moving somewhere, whatever. You know, that's how you beat that as far as like, you know, thinking about the past, the future. How can you break yourself away from constantly being up here thinking about the future? It really kind of goes hand in hand with the same scenario. If you're so holding on to the to the past, you may never even get to progress to the future. Being present means this is what's happening right now. I'm interacting with this person right now, today. Not yesterday, not, not a year from now, but right now, today. So what's going on today? How are we connecting today? Um... How are they making me feel today without thinking about what would nothing else from the past and nothing else from the future confined to the present, okay? Within any situation, like I said, if you if you, you, you about to pursue a new dream, a new goal, and you like, well, that, that did not work out for me in the past. Something did not work out for me. It didn't go in my favor. So I'm not even going to pursue that. Sometimes... We can be in a place that's so beautiful, full of so much love, right? Let's say right now you're single and you're sad. You're single and you're sad. You don't got a job and you're sad. Um, no car and you're sad. No friends and you're sad. Another part of confining yourself to the present is saying, well, I may not have this, 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 and this, or this, 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 and this, but what do I have? What do I got right now? What love, what type of love do I got right now? What income do I got right now? What abundance do I have right now? What wealth do I have right now? That I can say, thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, source. Thank you, universe. Thank you for this. Thank you for the family that I have. Thank you for the friends that I do have. The job that I do have, if you have that. For the food that I'm able to eat and, and nourish my body. The bed that I can sleep in and get the rest for my body. If you're able to do that... Every single day that you wake up, you're confining yourself to the present. You're not like, well, I don't got this. Because that stuff can be in the future. It can come to you in the future. Let's say, like I said, you, you got a goal that you want to reach. And because, of course, me saying confine yourself to the present definitely does not mean disconnect from the past. And I'm definitely not saying disconnect from the future either. But because the past is real and the future is real too. So let's say you got a goal that you want to achieve. I keep saying it. Let's say you got a goal that you want to achieve. And you're like, okay, I want to still be present. 
but I still want to successfully complete this goal. I still want to get there. A part of, of combining yourself to the present is making a plan for where you want to be at, knowing where you want to be at, writing it down, manifesting it, whatever, and then saying, okay, well, what can I do today to better help me get there tomorrow? Whatever it is that you're that you're looking forward to, that and I, when I say setting a goal, it can be any a business goal, um, a love goal, friendships, all of that stuff that I was saying that you may not have. How can I get to that and be doing something today that's going to get me to that to that moment? Just just as an example, guys, I started I started wanting to do nails probably about a year ago now. It's maybe been a year, maybe a little bit yet less than a year. I feel like it was like in December of last year. Um, and then I've done like bought bought the practice hand. If I'm gonna show y'all in a moment because I got a point to say. But I bought practice hand. I bought these supplies. I did all of this stuff over the last few months. And then I got to a point where I was like, I don't know if I want to do this nail shit no more. I don't know if I want to do it at all. And then I was like, I was talking to somebody, shout out to you, because you know who you are. <laughs> I was talking to somebody, and it was like, well, why give up on it? You know, you know, what what, what reasons do you have that you don't want to do it anymore? You know, and then I was like, well, shit. I started to feel and realize that I was not only projecting from the past, but the future as well. My reasons were because in the past, I've, I've put my mind to doing certain stuff and then it just don't go in my in my favor you know like um i applied to this cosmetology school over the summer and i was like um i'm gonna go to school for this so that it can just be easier for me to learn that way you know somebody can instruct me and then you know i'll be licensed and then i can do it then i mean i applied and everything and then um i think i even met my professor y'all i was like right there and then they were like well you got to pay for it out of the pocket like they wouldn't do i was a transient student and they wouldn't honor transient students with financial aid so i was like bitch i can't pay twenty five hundred dollars to learn how to do nails like and so it had me discouraged that was like me looking at the past and and and, and seeing that no or that you can't do it do it this way as a no you shouldn't do it that was me looking at the past. And then me looking at the future looked like, I don't even know, once I learn how to do them, I don't even know if I wanna take clients. I don't know if I'm going, to, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, like after this. Like, I don't see myself doing this. I was just really talking myself out of it. But a part of staying present was buying some, some nail tips, and in my supplies and everything and saying okay well today forget about what happened um with the school thing i can teach myself so let's just practice today practicing for this one day meant me getting better and teaching myself so forget the past and also i can take my time with this and just focus on getting better and then eventually i can decide what it is what is my specific groove with this? Because there's so many different ways you can do them and so many different markets that you can enter into once you learn how to do them. Uh, what is it? Um, fuck. Wuongs. What do they call y'all? <laughs> when you put the nail on here. Um, okay, it doesn't matter. Clip on. I'm thinking of earrings. But you know, press ons. You can make press ons or you can take clients. There's so many different markets you can go into with it. And I was like, okay, I can just worry about how good I'm doing today. Enter, you know, cultivate myself as a nail tech and just see what is my groove with it. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm still doing them. But that's just the way to confine yourself to the present. I don't got to worry about what's going to happen with the nail shit tomorrow. I don't got to worry about what happened with it, you know, months ago. I need to worry about what I'm doing with it today because eventually I'm going to reach a point with this, in this nail journey, that I find where I'm supposed to be with it, okay? And I can enjoy it more if I'm just worried about every single day how good I get. I, I, I've done so many nails at this point and I don't do it every day I, I do it probably like once a month honestly but the progress I've made is mind-blowing for me and that's just another 
scenario where you can confine yourself to the present okay and i can name a million scenarios you're you're probably thinking about something right now that you like i need to work on that because i'm probably unhappy with this because i'm thinking about what's gonna happen in the future what might happen in the future i'm probably unhappy with that because i'm thinking about something that happened to me in the past in relation to this it's so so important excuse me to focus on what's going on today what's going on right now how do you feel right now and um I was about to say eventually that I might start a, um, a meditation channel for y'all because meditating helps so much. It helped me so much with trying to confine, confine myself to the present. I was doing I was doing meditation months ago. I don't meditate as much anymore, but I was doing meditation months ago because I needed to be grounded. I needed to stop thinking so much, like I said, about the, the future or the past too it was probably the past at that point mostly but i needed to stop and i needed to just tap into my body pay attention to what i'm feeling pay attention to what i want pay attention to what i need pay attention to myself on a very 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 deep level being present allows yourself to work on your accountability work on your awareness when you spend every day like this eventually you're going to realize okay i'm getting better with communicating okay i'm getting better with conversation in general i'm getting better with knowing what i want and what i don't want to you know um fuck sorry y'all <laughs> my mental's all over the place i need to stop looking at stuff because i'm getting you know out of my um, zone but being present allows you to focus on your aware, not just focus on, but improve your awareness and accountability as well. I mean, if you're more, if you pay attention more to yourself, not just yourself, but everything that you experience every day, everything, you know, you will realize that sometimes you may react in ways that you don't need to react. You may treat people that in how you don't you shouldn't treat them you'll start to say stuff and then you'll be like why did i say that why did i do them like that when you're when you are able to confine yourself to the present you're not thinking about like i said you're not projecting you're not thinking about what's coming in the future you're not so mad or or, or disconnected from what's going on in front of you right now because sometimes you know we might carry some trauma like i said from the past they just got us acting like a bitch or being an asshole or treating people bad that don't deserve it, treating people bad that haven't warranted anything like that from us. You know what I'm saying? It's going to give you the ability to see you, to see yourself and see everybody else too. Uh, not just see yourself, but have more compassion as well as discipline for yourself and for other people too. Hmm. I know a lot of this is like probably too much to just to just be like, okay, she's spitting. <laughs> but if you just try this, if you just implement this into your everyday life, I really want y'all to see how much you change as well as your life changes. It will. Because you're going to be able to stack your blocks a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? If you... If you, okay, listen, 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 listen. I got a little metaphor for y'all, right? So you're building a wall. Wall, the wall is your life, the wall, or, or the wall is you, whatever, whichever one you want to do. And if you're putting one, one block, one brick on this wall every single day, one, only one block, only one brick per day, you get the opportunity in this one day, you're not gonna wake up. If you get in one day, and this 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 block, this wall is you. It's it's your most prized possession. Okay, if your most prized possession is not yourself, it's your most prized possession, right? It's your masterpiece. And if you get the whole twenty four hours to take this one block or this one brick and look at it and say, okay, which one of these bricks is the perfect brick 
to go in this next spot on the wall, on the, on the, on the brick wall that I'm building. You're gonna take, if you get that opportunity and you pay attention and you realize how, how much of a gem, how much of a gift it is to be able to take so much time on this one thing, you're not gonna just pick a block up and throw it on the wall. You're not gonna do that with 24 whole hours out of your day. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna really study this block. You're gonna study the wall. You're gonna say, okay, this one right here, I think it goes right here. It looks like it fits perfectly to me because you want a solid wall. You want a, a wall with no holes in it, with no, you know, loose ends, whatever, whatever. Because if you are just throwing the blocks, the bricks on the wall, eventually you're going to look back at your wall and you're going to say, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is, what is even is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? So think about life like that like a wall or whatever you know it you could be anything you can imagine building or creating you get a whole day to focus on this one thing and to give it your all all of your attention all of your intent everything and make it exactly what you want it to be that is control right there you know i think that we struggle a lot with control and that's would make sorry guys my camera died but i was saying that um control so i was saying that i think that control is something that makes us struggle with staying present you know we want things to go our way we want life to be our way we want to live in a world you know that's exactly what we want you know what i mean and so Sometimes we spend so much time worrying and thinking on the future and the past and all of that. And it's hard to let go of that and focus on what's happening today right now. But if we let go of trying to control the, out the grand outcome and the grand scheme of things, you'll realize that when we are able to treat life every single day like a building block, like I said, and we pick and choose a lot more of what we want and you know let go of and, and 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 cut off the things that we don't if we spend each day like that each day like a building block eventually we're going to get there you know what i'm saying so that's control control is being able to let go of something ideal of of being in our minds of of, of trying to create um something that we can't reach it or something that's no longer here yet here anymore because yesterday's gone and tomorrow ain't got here yet so what can i control today i can cultivate today and treat it like a building block like i said and put it on my wall when i get there and then i'll know it's gonna be perfect eventually it's gonna be exactly what i want uh, 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 uh. i think that's it y'all um i feel good about this video and i hope that what I'm saying makes some type of sense to y'all because this is really, really, really an important part of healing. And I know I keep talking about us letting go of trauma and of the past. Some of this stuff is going to be on you, going to be beyond you. And when you feel like letting go or like some certain parts of you are a little bit more difficult to heal, I'm gonna tell you, there's nothing wrong with going to therapy, okay? Your mental health is top tier. It should be, okay? Just as long as it's the same as your physical health and everything, you gotta take care of your body as a whole, okay? And so it's okay to go to therapy. If you need a little help, some things about, about letting go of your past, of, of trauma from maybe even from your childhood, stuff like that, it's okay to get some help, okay? I've gone to therapy twice in the last year, yeah. And I'm not ashamed about that, okay? Um, I'm not ashamed to say that I needed some help. I needed somebody a little bit, not even better than me, but more versed in mental health than me to help me. So go get some therapy if you feel like this is a little bit beyond you. But at the same time, don't forget that you are in your own hands, okay? Young God, you are in your own hand, okay? You control your own life. You control everything, all right? So that's the video. Box yourself in. Confine yourself to the present moment, all right? 
thank y'all for watching if you made it this far in the video comment another butterfly or if you never commented in the first in the first part of the video comment your first butterfly for me okay thank y'all so much for watching i love you guys so much um yes yeah, so go ahead and subscribe too because i know you like this um yeah it's your girl butterfly Lisa, and i'm gonna go ahead and sign out because i'm tired and I'm getting a little woe down if you can't tell. All right, see y'all.